Yovalim Jubilees 40. And in those days, Pharaoh dreamed two dreams in one night concerning a famine, which was to be in all the land. And he awoke from his sleep and called all the interpreters of dreams that were in Mitzrayim and magicians and told them his two dreams. And they were not able to declare them. And then the chief butler remembered Yosef and spoke of him to the king. And he brought him forth from the prison, and he told his two dreams before him. And he said before Pharaoh that his two dreams were one. And he said unto him, Seven years shall come in which there shall be plenty over all the land of Mitzrayim, and after that seven years of famine, such a famine as has not been seen in all the land. And now let Pharaoh appoint overseers in all the land of Mitzrayim, and let them store up food in every city throughout the days of the years of plenty. And there will be food for the seven years of famine, and the land will not perish through the famine, for it will be very severe. And Yahuwah gave Yosef favor and mercy in the eyes of Pharaoh, and Pharaoh said unto his servants, We shall not find such a wise and discreet man as this man, for the Ruach Yahuwah is with him. And he appointed him the second in all his kingdom, and gave him authority over all Mitzrayim, and caused him to ride in the second chariot of Pharaoh. And he clothed him, rather clothed him with Bysus garments, and he put a gold chain upon his neck, and a herald proclaimed before him, El El Wa Evirir, and placed a ring on his hand, and made him ruler over all his house, and magnified him, and said unto him, Only on the throne shall I be greater than you. And Yosef ruled over all the land of Mitzrayim, and all the princes of Pharaoh, and all his servants, and all who did the king's business loved him, for he walked in uprightness, for he was without pride and arrogance, and he had no respect of persons, and did not accept gifts, but he judged in uprightness all the people of the land. And the land of Mitzrayim was at peace before Pharaoh because of Yosef, for Yahuwah was with him, and gave him favor and mercy for all his generations, before all those who knew him and those who heard concerning him. And Pharaoh's kingdom was well ordered, and there was no Satan and no evil person therein. And the king called Yosef's name Sophonat Paniak, and gave Yosef to be his woman, the daughter of Potiphar, the daughter of the priest of An, the chief cook. And on the day that Yosef stood before Pharaoh, he was thirty years old when he stood before Pharaoh, and in that year Yitzhak died. And it came to pass, as Yosef had said in the interpretation of his two dreams, according as he had said it, there were seven years of plenty over all the land of Mitzrayim, and the land of Mitzrayim abundantly produced, one measure producing eighteen hundred measures. And Yosef gathered food into every city, until they were full of grain, until they could no longer count and measure it for its multitude.